All new Scarlet is back, which offers revoke free sideloading experience, even tested to work on any iOS versions, where you can sign and sideload IPA files without any blacklist or even a computer after initial setup on your iPhones and iPads. Visit this website, link to which will be in description. Here I have provided all the official links or source, because there are many fake website ranking on first page of Google searches. So, first click on this button here, which will take you to the official GitHub page of Scarlet. Under the asset section, and simply download the Scarlet for computer, in MSI format file for your Windows computer. Once the same is downloaded, next, it's a must to install the Apple Devices tool. So head over to the same website, click on Apple Devices, and on the next page, click on Get Link. Next click on this skip button. On the next page, stay on the page for 10 seconds only, and then click on Get Website, and finally click on Open. You will be redirected to this page. Click on View on Store to redirect to Microsoft Store, and now simply install Apple Devices. Next, agree to the terms and condition, and finally click on Start option. Once it is successfully installed, make sure to launch the Apple Devices tool, and now connect your iOS devices to your computer. Do not close the page, but just minimize it. Next, launch File Manager, and navigate to the Download folder, and install the Scarlet computer, like any other program. If you get this pop-up, simply click on More Info, and now click on Run Anyway. Continue clicking on Next to complete the installation process. Once installed, this is how the new Scarlet interface looks like. Since your device is connected to the computer, click here and select your device as shown here. Now, click on this icon here and add your Apple ID and password, which will be used to sign and install Scarlet. Once logged in successfully, finally it's time to install Scarlet in iOS device. Click on this Install Scarlet option. And if you face any such error, Simply restart both Apple Devices and Scarlet Cloud Tool. So let me relaunch Scarlet Computer, and then again select the device connected, and finally click on Install Scarlet. As you can see, the Scarlet is working now, and on my iOS device, the Scarlet app is getting installed. Once successfully installed, it's a must to launch the Scarlet app, but do not disconnect the iOS device from the computer yet. But before launching, let's trust the certificate, by going into the Settings app, navigating to VPN and Device Management, and simply tap on Trust. And let me mention that Scarlet works in even iOS 26. So launch Scarlet app, and next, tap and hold this icon here, and select Sign In. Enter the same Apple ID and password, which was entered previously while installing Scarlet. Once logged in, you will find your entered Apple ID in the Manage Certificate section, as shown here on the video. Now you can disconnect your iOS device to the computer as we no longer require a computer. And now let's install and set up WireGuard. Visit this same website, and tap here, to visit to the official GitHub website of Scarlet. Here, you will find the WireGuard install link. Simply tap on it, which will open in Apple's App Store. Go ahead and install WireGuard into your device. Now go back to the GitHub page, navigate to Asset section, and download this EMP config file, as shown here. Once it's downloaded, launch the WireGuard app, tap on Add Tunnel option, and select Create from File or Archive. Locate that EMP config file, and import into WireGuard app. You will be asked to set up VPN, so tap on Allow, and set up VPN configuration by following the on-screen instructions. Now once the setup is done, you will find this switch appearing in the WireGuard app. So turn on this switch, only when installing any app via Scarlet, or when refreshing app. As the WireGuard VPN is currently enabled, let's go ahead and install any IPA file using Scarlet. Tap on this icon here. Select any IPA file of your choice, but if you see any error like this, then a simple way to solve it is by disabling WireGuard VPN, wait for a few seconds and then enable it. Now go back and try installing the IPA file. And as you can see, the issue is resolved. And also the target app is signed and installed successfully. The Target app is also launching without any issues. Now finally let me show how to refresh Scarlet and other apps. First make sure that WireGuard is enabled, and then launch Scarlet app. Simply tap on the icon of the app you wish to refresh, and then select Refresh option. The refreshing will occur in the background, and after some time, if you check as you can see, the app's remaining days is again set to 7 days. But there are few limitations to this method like 3 apps limit, and app expiration of 7 days, 
so you have to refresh apps every seven days, but with Kravasign, you can overcome these restrictions and get unlimited installation without any seven days expiry, and also with notifications and JIT support, offering as low as $7.90 for an entire year. Without any revokes or blacklist, to get one, simply tap on this button here to get access to the same. That's it for today. If you want to use K-Sign or E-Sign, then watch my next set of videos.